step probe we will model column lines first then we will define column section and we will assign those column properties to the column lines now here node cursor this one select then we will make it smaller window to see where the column nodes are here select this this one this one then here this one now we will go to geometry then translation and repeat 1.8 meter along y direction and this link step click on ok now go to view here we can see here by mistake we have typed 18 18 meter that's why it is so long so we can do one thing this side view select then replicate y direction 1.8 meter click on ok now this one we can delete From this side, you can delete these beams. Now, from this view, we will select the column lines, then we will go to replicate along y direction 1.8 meter. Click on OK. Now go to view this side. We will select the nodes, then move nodes along y direction as it is 3.6 meter, 1.8 meter more. We will move. Now these beams select beam cursor these beams we will replicate y direction 3.6 meter like this now these plane beams we will select then new view ok we will go to view here we will see our AutoCAD plan and we will keep the beam lines as per this plane beam layout this one delete So now this is done, we can 
cross this one view 3d view this one this side this one we can delete this one we have done unnecessarily we can select this beam lines then go to geometry or direction 3.6 meter click on ok now we can go to view 3d view like this and beam line from here to here from here to here we can add another beam or we can replicate this one from here this not this not 1.8 meter this one minus 1.8 click on ok now this is done here in view this side here we will move this one replicate z direction 0.6 Click on OK. Minus 0.6. Click on OK. Now delete this one. This one delete. Now we will define and assign property. Go to properties here, define rectangle material here, concrete. We will provide material properties concrete strength and reinforcement strength in analysis stage or post processing stage. Now here. 0.2 meter by 0.2 meter add 0.4 add 0.5 add 6 add 0.7 add 0.8 add here 20 20 20 40 20 50 20 60 20 70 20 80 now select this one then this column line assign to selected beam assign yes now this one select 20 by 40 all the vertical members assignment finished now we will go to beam assignment geometry go to view here then right click new view ok this view we will assign thin beam sections first one this 20 by 40 select this 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 one assign yes
now this is ok print beam close this one now select this go to new view ok now plan here we will go to ground floor roof view go to property this one 20 by 40 now new rectangle 0 0.4 0 0.5 this one hidden beam add 0 0.4 to 1 meter add now this one select this assign yes this one select this assign yes 3D rendering sorry here view this one balance this one 20 by 80 that means this one select this this and this assign yes so ground floor roof beam assignment also done now here we want to create slab and plate Now we will go to define thickness 0 0.13 add 0 0.16 add 0 0.17 add 0 0.18 add 0 0.2 add Now 0 0.13 select Plate cursor this one, this one, this one, assign yes. Now go to view. So this is our model up to ground floor roof in start pro close this one here we can see 3d rendering like this or here we can go to view structure diagram fill solid plates full section like this we can again display sorry this structure diagram apply like this 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 two beam we can merge we can change this colors structure diagram beam we can select this color 
apply close this is beam colors and here fill plates plate color we can select another color like this one click on ok apply ok one thing we have forgot that we have to rotate our columns to match our column orientation so here in the model we can see these columns are in this direction that means x direction so the columns are oriented vertically those columns we will select and rotate so now go to select beam parallel to here in y axis then right click new view click on ok first we will define beta angle create beta angle 90 ok this one now we will select our columns this one assign to selected beams click on assign yes ok now we will see diagram like this so this beta 90 degree rotated along vertical direction from x axis so now we can close this one now we can see diagram close another thing we have to assign support now go to view this side here create new support fixed add select this one then select all the nodes at base levels then assign to selected nodes yes structural diagram apply close so our modeling in start pro up to ground floor roof has been finished so thanks for watching stay tuned for more upcoming tutorials on this course press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update